What's up, YouTube? So here's part two of my UMI front sway bar installation. Um, me running into a stripped hole. If I put the bolt in here, it just pretty much slips in and out. I don't know why Chevy didn't do some holes here or something to make it easier and hold these down with um, nuts. Anyway, um, I'm gonna do that myself uh, and we'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. All right, so we are done drilling out the holes. With this one, I went with one and three eighths. And then the side by the tire this is a this is a driver's side, guys. Um, I don't have this problem on the passenger side. The passenger side does have holes. It's just that the driver's side didn't, so I decided to do. Anyway, so this is a three eighths. It's good enough. My finger fits in there, so I'll probably just hold the nut and hopefully I can get it tight enough. And then on this side, I went with one and three eighths. My wrench fits in there. Check this out. Mm -hmm. Just like that. You get the idea. All right, so I'm gonna finish putting this bad boy together. Can't wait to take it out for a spin. All right, guys, here's the passenger side. See how I'm telling you about these holes right here? These are factory. Anyway, this is the passenger side. This is the driver's side. That's one of the holes right there. And here's the other one. Right there. Right here. You can see the bolt right there. That turned out pretty good. And then this side turned out pretty good too, right there. There's the leak. Anyways, this idea I uh, read up on a, on a thread seemed like a good idea and I just decided to do it instead of re-threading. There you go. You run into a strip holder, it's an idea. I'm not saying it's the correct way, nor the right way. It's totally up to you. Anyways, like. Subscribe. Peace.